Have you ever heard someone say, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything? And it is so true. Today's verse of the day was Romans 8, 6. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit brings life and peace. When I read this, I was like, okay, the Apostle Paul is bringing three things to our attention. The connection between the mind, the spirit, and the flesh. And I was like, hmm, I remember when I was doing psychology and we was learning about this theory of personality in which the personality is split into three parts, which is the id, ego, and the superego. I was like, okay, the id is kind of like the flesh, just focusing on selfish desires and human gratification. Then the superego is kind of like the spirit where it's our moral compass. It focuses on us doing good and being good. And then the ego is obviously the mediator between the two, which is kind of like the mind. So it wants to keep both the id and the superego happy at the same time where the mind is always battling between the spirit and the flesh. So I was thinking, you know how sometimes you go to the gym, if you go to the gym and you're on your last set and you're like, no, I can't do this anymore. Let me just finish. Let's just go home early. Like, I can't do it. But then you're like, no, no, no. Don't listen to what your body is telling you. Your muscles, don't, don't listen to them get back into the zone and get tap into the mindset and then your mind pushes you through to, to finish your workout which what does this mean your mind is stronger than your flesh right so if your mind is able to overcome your flesh even when it's flat your flesh is telling you to do this do that do that can you imagine how much better decisions and how much better living you're gonna make when you allow your spirit to commune with your mind which then will have an effect on the flesh which is telling you to do things that glorify god which is telling you to do things like worship god praise god seek god daily turn away from sin can you imagine how much life and peace that's gonna bring so what i'm trying to say is just start tapping into the mind and the spirit allow them to to commune you know just remember the spirit of the living god which resides in all of us okay is stronger than the desires in you is stronger than he who is in the world okay you can do all things through christ who strengthens you all right allow the spirit to commune with the mind and let's forget about the flesh because the flesh is so weak